Good morning! Whoa, a little early for that, Lexi. Sorry, Mike, I'm just so excited for this Halloween dance on Saturday. I heard the haunted house is going to be really scary, so I'm going to need you to go with me. I don't know if I can do that, if it's going to be so scary. Why not? Today is October 30th and a white day on your schedule. Okay. Well, on this day in history, in 1945, Jackie Robinson was signed to the Montreal Royals. Very good, Lexi. You know your sports history. I like that in a girl. I think you. But Mike, this is more than sports history. This is also a very important day in the civil rights movement. Duh. Happy birthday to Shannon Moore. If you see Shannon today, make sure you wish her a happy birthday. Today for lunch, we have macaroni and cheese, a soft pretzel, broccoli, fresh cut fruit or juice, and low fat milk. Now to the sports with Dan and John. Thanks, Artemis and Matt. And now for today's sports. There'll be a JV football game tonight under the lights at 7.30 and a sectional volleyball game at Main Endwell. Go cheer them on. In 2011, Norwich High School was one of the first high schools in the world to produce Phantom of the Opera. All three performances played to standing room only audiences. This year's NHS musical will equal or eclipse that production. Well, on October 15th, 2014, another great musical was released for high schools. And again, Norwich High School will be one of the first schools to, in the world to produce it. The stage version of everyone's favorite, particularly Perfect Nanny, from one of Disney's most popular movies of all time, Mary Poppins will be produced by the NHS Music Department. Based on the book by P.L. Travels and the classic Walt Disney film, Mary Poppins, delighted Broadway audiences over 2,500 performances. For any student who has ever wanted to perform on stage, this production will be one to get the acting bug with it. If you want more information about the show and auditions, there will be an audition workshop on Saturday, November 8th from 10 to 12.30. At the time, students will be giving all the information they need to be able to prepare for the auditions set to take place on Saturday, December 13th. Auditions packets for Mary Poppins are now available by room number 43. Students with questions should see Mrs. Williams in room number 43. Good morning, NHS. Today's book of the day is Closed Doors by Lisa O'Donnell. 11-year-old Michael Murray is the best at two things, hacky sack and keeping secrets. His family thinks he's too young to hear grown-up stuff, but, but he listens at the door. It's the only way to find out anything, and Michael's hard heard a secret, one that may explain the bruises on his mother's face. When the whispers at home and on the street become too loud to ignore, Michael begins to wonder if there is an even bigger secret that he doesn't know about. Good morning, NHS. I got some announcements for you. Bowling starts Monday, November 3rd. There will be a brief meeting in Mr. Regis's room after school at 2.15. And attention freshmen, all fundraising orders due to Miss Gore in room 56 or Miss Case in room 11 by Monday, November 3rd. And for the mock trial, there'll be a mock trial meeting on Friday, October 31st from 2.15 to 2.30 in Mr. Longo's room. If you wish to be in the yearbook picture as well as be a part of the preliminary decision, you will attend. Have a great day, NHS. Just a quick announcement before we go, we have a couple colleges that are visiting NHS today. SUNY Binghamton, Mohawk Valley Community College, SUNY Oswego. Stop down at Student Services if, they're, if you're interested in meeting with the representatives of these schools. And this has been your NHS News. Mike, really, why won't you go in the haunted house with me? Lexi, I don't want to talk about it. Oh. Okay. Um, have a great day, NHS. Part of respect is understanding that other people aren't exactly the same as you, and so trying to understand them better. Um, when I think about respect, I think about the people in my life that I have the most respect for. Um, people like my father. Um, I think what respect means to me is it means it, it means somebody who cares a great deal um, about the people that respect them. Respect means to me treating somebody better than you expect to be treated. Check. Check. Treating someone the way you would like to be treated yourself. I thought, you know, a better way to teach the camera, what I think of respect, is to let my students speak for me, so let them answer. And yell out some words that you think that I, uh, I would say. Kind. Res good. Respectful. Good. <laughs> you know what accountable means? Responsible for your actions.